Well, thank you for waking up on this very busy Saturday morning. I'm Corey Stark. Taylor Holt will be joining us shortly live in Edwardsville. And we continue to follow breaking news. Emergency situations on both sides of the river this morning after storms blasted through the metro region and really the entire Midwest. Several homes damaged in defiance in St. Charles County, while in Edwardsville, major damage and now fatalities when a massive Amazon warehouse partially collapsed. And we're going to start there this morning in Edwardsville. All night long, emergency crews have been at the site of the Amazon warehouse collapse. This is just north, excuse me, off of 255 north of 270. And we have team coverage on the scene. News Force Taylor Holt and Jen Ray, who has been on site since shortly after the storm hit around 8 o'clock last night. Let's first go to Jenna with the very latest information. Jenna. Corey, right now it's been hours since law enforcement agencies from across the entire metro region have been out here in Edwardsville at the Amazon warehouse digging through the enormous pile of rubble left behind here from this severe event. In just the last hour, we have now learned that several people were killed by this weather event that happened around 830 Friday night. For now, crews again still out here. It's been hours. They're still just trying to comprehend what happened and try and still rescue people who may be stuck under the rubble. Now, let me show you this video first. This is an aerial video view of the Amazon warehouse that you're seeing right now. It truly shows the extent of this damage. Seeing it from this view just gives you a completely different perspective of just how strong these storms were tonight. Now you're seeing ground video of the warehouse. You can see wires dangling, debris everywhere, steel beams toppled over. Our meteorologist team believes a possible tornado or strong straight line winds hit the facility again. This all came through around 830 Friday night. Edwardsville Police Chief Mike Philback says they were called to respond again just just around 830 dozens of agencies from across the entire region responded. Our fire and our police, they, they practice this um, for when these things happen. And, and even at that, uh, it still takes a, a lot of effort. I'm sure as you guys can contest the batteries uh, going down and, and uh, phone lines being you know tied up and that. So there's, there's a lot of effort that goes into it. You guys can see that there are still dozens of emergency crews on scene, fire trucks, ambulances, first responders. We have special crews here that are made for search and rescue events like you're seeing on your screen right now, both from St. Clair County as well as Madison County. They went in with hard hats, harnesses, carabiners. We had shots of them earlier sifting through debris and really trying to rescue some of these people who are still stuck underneath. Now again, we do have team coverage today. We have learned that there is a press conference in less than an hour. News 4's Taylor Holt is there now and she's going to bring you the latest of what to expect in that press conference from law enforcement. Yeah, that's right, Jenna. I'm currently here at the Edwardsville Public Safety Building where on Main Street, we're in about 45 minutes, as you said. They are expected to have a press conference here detailing this now fatal situation. We've actually already started to see emergency crews make their way into the parking lot here. Again, we know this is a fatal situation, confirmed fatalities in this. Right now, we don't know how many there are or how many injuries there are, but that is something that we are expecting to learn learn more about at this upcoming press conference. We also don't know how many people were working at the facility at the time, but we did have crews overnight. Jenna was one of them um, who were able to see as Family members lined the outskirts of the facility waiting to get an update on the condition of their loved ones. And we also heard from a witness earlier tonight, and here's what they had to say. A lot of smash cars bunch of power lines down. Uh, actually, uh, there's a little lake that's behind our uh, building. Barely any water in it. There was cars in there. So, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's, a lot to, it's a lot to deal with. 
Yes, it is. And again, we are expecting to hear from multiple agencies involved in this search and rescue effort. St. Louis City and County, Pontoon Beach and Madison County are among those who are involved in this effort. Again, that press conference is happening in about 45 minutes at 545. So we will bring you that live and keep you updated throughout the morning on this ongoing situation. Corey. Still a lot to learn. All right, Taylor, thank you. We have statements from Amazon and Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker. In a statement issued last night, Amazon says, quote, the safety and well-being of our employees and partners is our top priority right now. We're assessing the situation and we'll share additional information when it becomes available. And for Governor J.B. Pritzker, quote, my prayers are with the people of Edwardsville tonight. And I've reached out to the mayor to provide any needed state resources. Our Illinois State Police and Ready Illinois are both coordinating closely with local officials, and I will continue to monitor the situation.